ITIL is an abbreviation for Information Technology Infrastructure Library that includes a set of books focusing on IT service management with guidance from practicing IT professionals. ITIL was published between 1989 and 1995 by Her Majesty's Stationary Office, or HMSO, in the UK on behalf of the Central Communications and Telecommunications Agency, known as CCTA, which is now part of the Office of Government Commerce, or OGC. Its early use was principally confined to the UK and Netherlands. A second version of ITIL was published as a set of revised books between 2000 and 2004. In 2007, ITIL version 2 was superseded by an enhanced and consolidated ITIL version 3, consisting of five core books covering the ITIL service lifecycle. This version is also sometimes called ITIL 2007. It was decided that post-2007, newer versions of ITIL will be known by the year in which they are published. Example, ITIL 2007, ITIL 2011. In July 2011, the third version of ITIL was upgraded to ITIL 2011 with some changes in the processes. Let us look at an overview of ITIL in the following screen. ITIL is not a theoretical view of how to manage IT services. It is a documented practice and is easily adapted to, irrespective of the organization's size or complexity. It emphasizes quality management approaches and standards, and supports quality systems such as ISO 9000. It is guided by total quality frameworks such as the European Framework for Quality Management or EFQM, and the Malcolm Baldridge National Quality Award, or MBNQA. Since the time of version 2, ITIL had become a worldwide standard for IT service management. This is reflected not only in the large number of people following ITIL training courses and getting certified, but also in the adaptation of ITIL by the British Standards Institute. The goal of ITIL has been to provide a consistent yet flexible best practices framework for IT service management. This framework should be suitable for all IT environments. ITIL also ensures that there is a standardized vocabulary along with platform independent processes. In the next screen, we will discuss the course agenda. There are four levels within the ITIL scheme. The first is the foundation level which focuses on knowledge or comprehension of IT service management and provides a good grounding in the key concept, terminology, and processes of ITIL. The foundation exam carries two credits. Second comes the intermediate level certification, which assesses an individual's ability to analyze and apply the concepts of ITIL. This certification can be taken only after clearing the foundation level and is composed of two streams service lifecycle and service capability. The service lifecycle stream consists of five individual certificates built around the five cores ITIL books, that is, service strategy, service design, service transition, service operation, and continual service improvement. Individuals preferring to stay on the management side of IT can choose this stream to enhance their IT service management knowledge. The exam for each life cycle phase in this stream carries three credits. The service capability stream consists of four individual certificates focusing on detailed process implementation and management within cluster groupings, which are Operational Support and Analysis, also called OSA, Service Offerings and Agreements, or SOA, Release, Control and Validation, or RCV, and Planning, Protection and Optimization, or PPO. These certifications are meant for individuals who would like to deepen their knowledge in specific areas of IT service management. The exams in this stream each carry four credits. The third level within the ITIL scheme is the ITIL Expert Certification, which demonstrates that the individual has successfully completed a number of intermediate units in addition to the mandatory foundation level and the Managing Across the Lifecycle Capstone course. The MALC module, which has five credits, 
sits between the intermediate and expert levels, and is the final required qualification for gaining expert status. The expert level certification requires that the individual has 22 credits across the qualification scheme. The fourth and final level is the ITIL Master, a senior level service management certification that allows experienced IT service managers to demonstrate their knowledge of ITIL and its application in the real world. More information on the ITIL 2011 qualification scheme can be obtained from the ITIL official website. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.